This video will demonstrate how to assemble and disassemble your mat top chains. Whether it be during initial installation, adjusting your catenary sag, or maintaining your chain due to elongation, there are many instances when you will need to assemble and disassemble your mat top chain. In order to accomplish this properly and safely, there are certain precautions to observe before beginning. If you are working on a chain that is currently installed in your application, always follow your lockout tagout procedures before approaching the chain. Wear proper eye, ear, and hand protection, and always follow your company and plant's safety protocols. Mat top chains feature a number of different pin retention systems, with each having a different way to assemble and disassemble the chain. To disassemble most mat top chains, you will need a flathead screwdriver and a pin puller tool. To disassemble mat top chain utilizing Rexnord's patented twist lock pin retention system, simply use a flathead screwdriver and rotate the twist lock plug 90 degrees. Use the pin puller tool to extract the pin from the chain. To reassemble, reinsert the pin and rotate the twist lock plug in the reverse direction until it is back in the closed position. Your mat top chain is now assembled and ready for operation. Other mat top styles of pin retention include the use of a snap fit plug. There are several different designs to this plug, however the assembly procedure is nearly identical for each. To disassemble, simply use a small flathead screwdriver to remove the snap fit plug. Then use the pin puller tool to remove the pin. To reassemble, simply reinsert the pin and snap the plug back into place. To disassemble mat top chains utilizing a soldered head pin retention system, you must drive the pin holding the chain together out of the hinges. To do so, take a hammer and a drift and place the drift on the pin. Begin to strike the drift until the pin has been driven out of both hinges. Please note that used pins cannot be reused. The 4700 chain series is the only chain series that requires customers to use a soldering iron to re-establish the pin retention. First, warm up the soldering iron. Then, take the pin and fit it into the 4700 chain. Take a wire cutter and cut the access pin length to around one quarter of an inch away from the chain. Take the soldering iron and press it against the outer part of the pin, creating the soldered head. This is what will keep the pin within the chain during operation. For more information or documentation, please visit rexnord.com or contact Flattop Application Engineering.